This is DNA and RNA part two. So in this video, we will talk about uh, translation, transduction, operands and prions, as well as a uh, complementary DNA. In molecular biology and genetics, translation is the process in which ribosomes in the cytoplasm, or ER, synthesize proteins after the process of transcription of DNA to RNA in the cell's nucleus. The entire process is called gene expression. In translation, messenger RNA is decoded in a ribosome outside the nucleus to produce a specific amino acid chain or polypeptide. The polypeptide later folds into an active protein and performs its functions in the cell. The ribosome facilitates decoding by inducing the binding of complementary transfer RNA anticodon sequences to messenger RNA codons. The transfer RNAs carry specific amino acids that are chained together into a polypeptide as the messenger RNA passes through and is read by the ribosome. So we need to be familiar with three phases of translation, and that's initiation, elongation, and termination. During initiation, the ribosome assembles around the target messenger RNA. The first transfer RNA is attached at the start codon. During elongation, the transfer RNA transfers an amino acid to the transfer RNA corresponding to the next codon. The ribosome then moves to the next messenger RNA codon to continue the process creating an amino acid chain. During termination, when a st stop codon is reached, the ribosome releases the polypeptide. In most eukaryotic genes, coding regions, which are exons, are interrupted by non-coding regions, which are introns. During transcription, the entire gene is copied into a pre-messenger RNA, which includes exons and introns. During the process of RNA splicing, introns are removed and exons join to form a contiguous coding sequence. This mature messenger RNA is ready for translation. <clears throat> Transduction is the process by which foreign DNA is introduced into a cell by a virus or by a viral vector. An example is the viral transfer of DNA from one bacterium to another. Transduction does not require physical contact between the cell donating the DNA and the cell receiving the DNA. And it is DNase, which is capital D, capital N, A-S-E, resistant. Transduction is a common tool used by molecular biologists to stably introduce a foreign gene into a host gene's genome, and that's both bacterial and mammalian cells. In genetics, an operon is a functioning unit of genomic, genomic DNA containing a cluster of genes under the control of a single promoter. The genes are transcribed together into a messenger RNA strand and either translated together into the cytoplasm or undergo trans splicing to create monochristronic messenger RNAs that are translated separately meaning several strands of messenger RNA that each encode a single gene product. The result of this is that genes contained in the operon are either expressed together or not at all. Several genes must be co-transcribed to define an operon. Prions are infectious agents composed entirely of a protein material that can fold in multiple structurally abstract ways at least one of which is transmissible to other prion proteins, leading to disease in a manner that is comparable to the spread of viral infection. A transposable element, or a transposon, is a DNA sequence that can change its position within a genome, sometimes creating or reversing mutations and altering the cell's 
genetic identity, and genome size. Transposition often results in duplication of the same genetic material. Barbara McClintock's discovery of these jumping genes earned her a Nobel Prize in 1983. And then we have complementary DNA. Complementary DNA is DNA synthesized from a single-stranded RNA in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. Complementary DNA is often used to clone eukaryotic genes in prokaryotes. The scientists want to express a specific protein in a cell that does not normally express that, pro that protein, such as heterologous expression. They will transfer the co complementary DNA that codes for the protein to the recipient cell. Complementary DNA is also produced naturally by retroviruses such as HIV-1 or HIV-2 and then integrated into the host genome where it creates a provirus.